Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my unboxing of my Sephora Play Box. Alright guys, today I'm looking at my August Sephora Play Box. I'm so excited. I've had it for one day and I'm like, I really wanted to open it because my mom already got hers and she loved hers in her box this month. And some, I didn't want her to tell me what she got because some boxes do have the same items in them. Uh, we want to do an unboxing together so, because she gets it now too from seeing my video. She's like, oh, I want to try. So if you guys want to see me do an unboxing Sephora box video with my mom, let me know down in the comments below and I will totally do that. So let's just open her right up and on top we have the theme for this month and the play card this play card gets you 50 extra beauty insider points when you use this one is good through September 30th they have this like cute little periodic table of elements which actually isn't actually like the actual one it's just a bunch of cute ones like papaya guava activated charcoal lol for laughter GT for green tea that's really cute so actually this is the theme I just didn't it just wasn't showing on the fold out but uh, the innovators, elements of beauty. Oh, get to know the hardworking ingredients that power your beauty routine. So it's not just cute, like it actually has some science to it. And then it has like the green ones are plant extracts and other naturals. Reds are minerals, yellows are proteins, blues are oils and butters, pinks are acids, and orange is vitamins. That's actually really cool. Like I think I'm gonna keep this. Like why? this is so cool. But also because I'm gonna keep it because it has like what's inside the box on the backs. So I am going to unbox this month's box but it's in a bag, it comes in a box in a bag, and this is the cute little bag for this month. But, um, and then I'm also gonna talk about last month's box products, but that's it, because I didn't actually buy anything new, and I, honestly, I didn't try enough of the, pro like I bought a bunch of products last month, and I didn't get around to really trying all of them enough to come talk about them. So we'll just do the unboxing here, and then I'll talk about last month's box, and we'll wrap it up. I mean, like the quickest Sephora box video I've ever done. Ooh, what is this? Soul. Janeiro Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. What is this? Infused with all powerful Urana extract. I have no idea. Fast absorbing all over body cream that helps tighten and smooth like no other. Massage in a circular motion. Cool. Mm, oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. It smells really like tropical. Next I have, ooh, something Kat Von D. Oh, two. Two perfumes. We have Kat Von D Saint and Kat Von D Sinner. Oh my god, which one am I? Saint is dreamy, romantic, and alluring. Sinner is dark, sultry, and empowering. That's so cute. And then they come like that. <gasps> Those bottles are so aesthetic. I might have to get it just for the aesthetic. But um, let's smell them. So I'll smell the Saint. Oh my god. God, that smells so good. <gasps> and then I'll smell Sinner. Mmm, that one's good too. Mmm, I was gonna say I like Saint better, but oh my God, I don't know. But I think, I think like off the top of my head, I would probably pick Saint as the one that I like the most, but they both smell good and I'll wear both of them. <laughs> Next, I have a mini beauty blender. Look at it. Oh my God, it's a micro mini beauty blender. What the hell am I supposed to use this on? Is this for like specific little tiny like concealer spots? I don't know, but it's so stinking cute. I just want to eat it. Next, I have, ooh, oh, I've, I've tried this before. This is the Locket Cream Concealer in Light. And I this was the very first concealer, high-end concealer I used, I think. And it was okay, but I did find that I did like the Too Faced concealer consistency better because that one's kind of thick but I'm gonna use it so it doesn't go to waste uh, next I have mascara melt off by Too Faced this is a cleansing oil waterproof mascara dissolver oh I told whoa what and you like brush your eyes with it or something I don't know we're gonna have to look at the where's the thingy we're gonna have to look up look it up what the heck how to apply use with precision wand coat lashes from base to tip and let them sit for at least 60 seconds to allow the formula to work then wipe away mascara with a damp cloth well i actually don't have any waterproof mascara but i think waterproof stuff you can obviously use it for things that aren't waterproof and it works just as fine but i don't have any waterproof mascara yet and the last thing in my box did i get this already oh no yeah i did no this is the living proof i've got the living proof volumizer and the living proof 
um, leave-in hair stuff, but this is the Living Proof dry shampoo. I don't think I've gotten this dry shampoo. I really like the detox dry shampoo, so, and I'm talking fast because my camera is dying, but this is the Living Proof dry shampoo, and I am dry shampoo queen because my hair gets so greasy. One day after not washing it, my hair looks absolutely disgusting. So, freaking awesome box. I am stoked to try all of these products, like, except for obviously I've already tried the Locket Cream Concealer because I got that before myself, but let's talk about last month's box and the things that I didn't try. I did not try this yet. I didn't try the charcoal pudding yet, but I really want to try that. I didn't try the leave-in spray because I have some old leave-in spray that I'm trying to use up and Okay, those are the only two things I used. The IT Cosmetics mascara sucked. Like, it looked, it was good, like, it applied good and everything, but somebody even warned me that that was going to be flaky as fuck, and it was, so I am not using it because I don't like that. The Bare Minerals color was pretty and okay, like, the formula went on smooth, and but it did not last long at all, and it was, it's pretty smeary, like, it doesn't stay put. This hydrating milk stick is interesting, but it's kind of thick, so it's like, I would use it on a day where I would not have any makeup or be like out in the sun like it just felt really thick like not cakey but not I like my moisturizers to be really thin and so that was last month's box so I tried these two wasn't super impressed tried this one it's okay and didn't try these two and then that's the smelly which you guys know me I'm not picky about a smelly so quickest Sephora video I think I've ever done because my battery is dying and I'm trying to get ready to go to the river with my friends and I really didn't buy I didn't buy any new products so I don't have anything to talk about and I didn't use the products I bought in last month's video to really talk about them because I don't know I was sick I was my back was hurting like if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram snapchat any of those places you'll know that like I have July was kind of rough like the end of July beginning of August has been kind of rough for me I've been I was terribly sick and I hurt my back I injured my back so freaking bad like the worst I've ever hurt myself before like I'm still recovering so anyways that's it I hope you guys enjoy comment down below about any of these products let's talk makeup you know I love it so thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video bye guys